This is Tom West. You're watching Actors Reporter with Kurt Kelly from Live Video Inc. Kurt Kelly from Actors Reporting Live Video Inc. at AFI at the fabulous Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. How are you? Good. Good you actually you. put these things together bringing in people like Sony. Well, I'm the chief advancement officer, so I put together strategic partnerships with corporations. I also bring in individual supporters mm -hmm. uh, to try and raise the money to make the programs possible. How long have you been working with AFI? Three years. And what made you decide? This is a great job. i got to do this. Well, I'm a, uh, I'm a reformed actor. Get out of here. I did it for several there years. There's no such thing as being reformed in acting. No, I'm completely reformed. Really? I've done all 12 steps. I've apologized okay. to everyone in my life. Okay. You've watch done your me. amends. But I um, um, loved the arts and yes. decided that I needed to stay in the business side of the arts. So I worked at the Kennedy Center for about 10 years. Love the Kennedy Center. Fundraising. And then a few years ago came out to AFI to help them build a program so that they can really more fully realize their programs. So were you working at 12-step when you started at the Kennedy Center, or were you after? I, I was just finishing my 12-step when okay. I started there. Great. That was my transition into the business side of the arts. So where did you originally come from, and how did you get into entertainment as a whole? Um, well, I was raised in the Deep South right. in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. How and did you get rid of your accent? I, spent a, I was an actor. I spent, oh, okay. a lot of, I spent a lot of money getting rid of that accent. Because I wouldn't have known that had you not said that. It comes right back when I get when I get into the South. Okay, and so you started your acting career in the South. Um, I did. Well, in Florida, when there was uh, a little bit more production down there, and mm -hmm. eventually decided that what I really needed to do was be more a part of making the arts possible, and that's where I got a master's in arts management and oh, started working nice. at the Kennedy Center. So, what brought you out here at AFI from the Kennedy Center? Uh, well. I had made a transition out to California already and some connections from the Kennedy Center where AFI was based on the East Coast for many, many years. I didn't know that, Inside actually. the building. So I'd known AFI very, very well for many years from okay. their screening programs in Washington. And uh, a dear friend is an alum of the program, and when they were looking for someone, he said, you should call Tom West. So for those who don't know, how many years has AFI been around, and how many years have you been doing the fest? Um, AFI has been around for 48 years. Okay. We were created in the White House Rose Garden in 65. Longer than you and I have been alive, almost. Longer than I've been alive. Okay. All right. Then some of us have been alive. And I won't speak for you because I That's don't know. That's all right. Um, <clears throat> but uh, so 48 years, we um, have been doing programs on, on both coasts. Uh-huh. So the... Institute out here when you started the fest, that's mm -hmm. been how many years now? Um, this is the 27th, I believe, edition of okay. the fest. I wasn't sure if it was 27, 28, it, somewhere in there, yeah. I believe it's 27. And so, to put on an event like this, what's involved? It takes an army, or a village, Yes. a very large village. Um, we have a, um, a team of programmers mm -hmm. who work year-round. Um, vetting films, developing relationships with studios, with filmmakers, curating what we believe is an almanac of the best films of the year. Right. Uh, and so they, they do go to many of the other major festivals and really handpick films that if you can't get to Sundance and Toronto and Venice and Cannes, you can see the best of the year's films, both world cinema, mm -hmm. uh, new auteurs, young filmmakers, and, and a few big studio films um, you can really see a compendium of what's great in film across the globe in one place in eight days with free tickets to every screening. And what's amazing is the amount of A-list talent that you're able to draw, unlike <laughs> a lot of other festivals out there. Well, we have the gift of we're in the movie capital of the world. That's a bonus. It, it, is, it is a little easier to get someone to get in a car and come across town than it is to you know, get them to Austin or to get them to Nashville or to get them even to Washington, D.C. You also have the benefit, though, unlike a lot of other schools or institutions, mm -hmm. that you have professional actors volunteering time through After SAG. Yeah. You have top-level professionals coming in to speak to your, to your different classes and, and groups of people who study there. Um, 
which maybe gives that extra edge too. Yeah, well, it helps. Well, we're we're we have a film school, graduate level film school, which is extraordinary, mm -hmm. um, and we do work have a great partnership with uh, the Screen Actors Guild, mm -hmm. um, which it, it, it has great synergy. The 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 young filmmakers at the school who are making movies as a part of the curriculum um, are very talented and working with masters, learning from the masters. So for, for them, it gives them the gift of experienced actors because it can be a great tell in your student film if your star is your roommate's cousin as opposed to an actor with training who's really trying to make a, a career. So that that is a great help for them. And for the actors, it gives them the benefit of working with really professional and skilled filmmakers, and they get a reel, you know, they're, and relationships with people who are gonna be working in the industry. Well, and you've had so many people who have gone on to win awards with the films that they've done, so maybe some of those people who helped them along the way had the benefit of getting to work with them in their professional careers also, I would guess. Absolutely, absolutely. So what are some of the big highlights you have this year that people will be surprised or be able to see? At, at AFI Fest? Absolutely. Oh, there are so many. Um, you know, each evening there is a, a great gala screening. And yes. even this afternoon, uh, Bernardo Bertolucci came to show a remastered version of The Last Emperor. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the sort of new auteur section, um, a great young filmmaking team with seven AFI alum on it uh, was screening a film that premiered in Toronto called We Gotta Get Out of This Place. Oh, the one that's actually showing later tonight. The one that's showing tonight. Right. Uh, which is a great, it's a great film. Nice. Uh, uh, great and gritty kind of film. Uh, and Yeah, we got to speak with the two brother directors and they, yeah. they uh, had some wonderful things to say about it. And then tomorrow we've got a, 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 a tribute to Bruce Dern, okay. a screening of Nebraska, nice. The Secret Life of Walter Mitty will have a gal screening later on in the week. And it's yeah, there are 120 films at the festival, a number of panels, discussions. There's a discussion with Annette Benning mm -hmm. and a tribute to her career coming up in a couple of days. So it's, it's just a very busy week for very film lovers. Very significant. Yeah. Well, that and also American film market going on at the same time. There's people literally from around the planet here doing nothing but talking about that. It's a great synergy that, that the market's going on and we have an, a relationship with them. So right. we, we go back and forth. In fact, a number of our um, our graduate producers intern over at AFM, really working with various uh, production companies around the world, right? Um, as they are there shopping their films, right? So, if someone wants to be involved either on a personal and or corporate level to help be part of the arts, like you are, mm -hmm. how do they go about that? They could just check out AFI.com. That would be a great uh, where start. we have great information on it. But um, we have. Um, we have a national membership. We have mm -hmm. members of the American Film Institute in all 50 states. And for $50, nice. you could be a, a member of the American Film Institute, get American Film Magazine, and help support the work that we do in preserving our, our cultural um, history and heritage uh, in the motion pictures and educating the next gener generation of filmmakers and public access programs like this where the tickets are free for people to really enjoy the best of the best of film for the year. Which is really a marvelous thing that you guys do. Well, thank you. Here. Thank you for your time. Good and, talking to you. And enjoy. we got to get out of this place later tonight. I will. All right. I'm Kirk Kelly. We'll be back with more from AFI in just a moment. Thank you.